Rapture is one of the most imaginative and twisted game worlds ever created. Soon you will be born, and Rapture will be your home. Time to go back. Hi there, and welcome to Platinum Journey, where I document the highs and lows of getting a Platinum Trophy in some brilliant games. It is finally time to round out this magnificent trilogy by doing an episode all about Bioshock 2. A hefty 53 trophies between me and the Platinum. 32 bronze, 17 silver, and 4 gold. The bronze trophies are for researching enemies, Getting through a gather with no damage and no one getting to the little sister. A load of miscellaneous trophies like spending $2,000 at vending machines. And a bunch are story related and unmissable. Ten years and still she dreams of you. The silver trophies are for finding a hundred audio logs. Defeating three big daddies without dying during the fight. Saving every little sister. Gathering 600 Adam. Finding every weapon upgrade station and sparing Grace, Stanley, and Gil. Please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend. The gold trophies are for escaping Rapture, completing the game without using a Vita Chamber, buying a Plasmid or Tonic slot, bit of a simple gold trophy, and finally, beating the game on the highest difficulty. Plan of action. As you can tell, there are a lot of trophies. The quickest route would be to start on hard, disable Vita Chambers, keep track of collectibles and the many miscellaneous trophies. However, I'm not nearly as familiar with Bioshock 2 as I am with the first game. I fear missing something along the way and having to do another playthrough while being constantly stressed in what should have been my one and only hard playthrough. So, I'm going to break this up into something more manageable. First playthrough, disable Vita Chambers but play on easy, so I won't have to worry about difficulty, just focus on keeping track of everything. If I do happen to miss something, I can do it on the following hard playthrough. Alright, a lot to do, but I am so excited to revisit Rapture. be back in Rapture is just glorious. One of my favourite gaming worlds. First thing, disable Vita Chambers. So much to do in this playthrough. Audio logs, hacking, upgrade stations, and now trying to have a perfect gather. Lay a heap of traps and stock up on supplies. Boy, did I make a feck of this. First attempt, no good. Reload. Lay traps, stock up. Second attempt. No. Reload. Lay traps, stock up. Yada yada yada. Nope. Third attempt. Fourth attempt. Something is wrong. Me being unable to read a trophy description. Master Protector. Got through a gather with no damage and no one getting to the little sister. Oh, the little sister can't take damage and I can't take damage either. No wonder I'm not getting the trophy using myself as a human shield. Let's try this again. Alright, Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. Well, hey, rescued the little sister, bashed the big sister, fully upgraded a weapon, got the research camera, which will be used before every fight, spared Grace. She is an old lady after all. Can't be rampaging through Rapture killing old ladies. To hell with you then. Come on. Bumbling through the next few levels and got the trophy for audio logs. 
Uh, I still have about 15 to go. I guess I might have counted when I was playing the DLC Minerva's Den. Grand. Only weapon upgrade stations and research to go on this playthrough. Getting there. Have to spare Stanley, unfortunately. Hmm. I'll be seeing you next playthrough. Trophy for hacking. Trophy for rescuing every little sister. Always gives me sort of a warm feeling inside after saving every little sister. I've somehow made Rapture a slightly better place. Sorry, big man. Bang on that vent all you want. No little sister will be coming out. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you will administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. I spared Gil. Didn't want to, though. This is a man begging for euthanasia. Last level, last plasmid. Time is running out for research, though. Still missing Houdini Splicer. Well, 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 what do we have here? Ha <laughs> ha yes. I was getting worried, there's not much left in the game, and Houdini Splicers are needed. Ooh, imagine having to do it all again. After all that effort throughout the game and getting so close. Ugh, what a relief. Only the final upgrade station to worry about, and here it is. Time to get the hell out of here. The Rapture dream is over. That's for beating the game without Vita Chambers. And that is, as you might guess, for escaping Rapture. Okay, on to hard difficulty. Uh, I definitely made the right decision, splitting this over two playthroughs, because even playing on easy, keeping track of all the trophies I have to get and all the things I have to do, it's difficult. And as one gets ticked off, it's like, okay, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about that missable trophy. And now, going into this hard difficulty playthrough, all I gotta do is beat the game. And I'm gonna take my sweet ass time. So, new game, hard. You've played a lot of shooters. Uh, I've played some. I ain't good. Ah, no, I'm. I beat Modern Warfare on veteran mode, so yeah, I'm a pro. I also think for this playthrough, I'm going to utilize the drill as my primary weapon. My aim is terrible, so getting up close with all these people might be my best strategy. Uh, it was nice in the other playthrough to kind of experiment with all the weapons, but I did not use the drill at all. So I'm going to change that. The art design of Bioshock is still on point. It's just such a magnificent world. Found an upgrade station to increase drill fuel efficiency, just in time for a big daddy fight. As you can see, I'm in great physical shape to take on this behemoth. Great! Now my drill fuel is gone. So I just have to bash it over and over again. This drill only playthrough has its shortcomings. Eventually, take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Are we?
Now for one of two mandatory gatherings. First one, I barely survive. You will recognize the second one. However, this drill-only playthrough is proving tedious and repetitive early in the game. I need assistance. Even using firearms, I still die over and over again. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I won't be doing any more gatherings. I reload, lay traps, hmm, deja vu, and hide in the corner. Rely on the turret to do most of the work and then sprint to pick up the little sister. Big sister fight. I get a little bit of plasmid energy to use incinerate each revive. Keep tipping away and land a few blows. Die, rinse and repeat. Hard difficulty is a real grind. I don't know how I could do this without Vita Chambers. Holy Moses, son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Dionysus Park was my home delta. An experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. I like this level. So much great detail. Like Dionysus Park has been submerged for quite a while and all this plant life is growing again. It's cool. Ah, by the way, Stanley, he was spared in my last playthrough for a trophy. This time, the bastard's gonna get what he deserves. Yes, Stanley. He spent the money of Dionysus Park on extravagant parties, sent a young girl off to an orphanage to become a little sister, allowed the inhabitants of Dionysus Park to become animals. Instead of accepting responsibility, he flooded the place. What a cowardly, slimy, greedy, selfish bastard. <sighs> now, picked up the drill specialist tonic, making plasmids cost way less. Should really help this drill playstyle. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is... Gilbert Alexander. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. This level has such a good story. Gil Alexander was meant to be the first utopian, free from self-interest. All of Rapture's intellect in one person. However, like everything in this wretched place, it did not go as planned. Before he became clinically insane, Gil left diaries to guide someone to put him out of his misery. I do not have long before psychosis takes me. Getting to see what becomes of him is shocking. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. No worries, Gil. Rest easy. Starting to have quite a bit of money. It's now only in the late game that I feel this drill playthrough is starting to come together. The drill specialist tonic is important in making sure I can use plasmids quite often. And now that I've got the tonics for lowering the price in the vending machines, so now 50 drill oil or drill fuel is only $19, whereas before it was 50. Much easier. I quite like this. Seeing the world from the viewpoint of the little sister. Look how decadent everything is. But we know <laughs> this isn't Rapture. All the little details, everything is just a joy. 
I'd want to be in this world. Look at all the guests to the party. Like rapture in its heyday. But that's not what it really is. The angel. And now you understand when they've been saying for the past two games, look daddy, an angel. The reality is not quite as nice. They only have flies buzzing around the bodies or the corpse. It's little pretty blue butterflies. <laughs> this is great. And off we go to the final level. Nice little call back to the way the gates and the doors work between levels in the first game. To inner Persephone. Now this is going to be an absolute clusterfuck. Um, yeah, I'm going to enable Quest Arrow because <laughs> there's just a lot going on. You want to get through here quick because there's so many enemies. Quest arrow on, let's run. Run, boy. So just get stuff done. Go, 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 go. Mow down enemies and get to the end. The longer you spend here, the more you lose your goddamn mind. Run, boy. Wow, here we are. Final stand. I'm empty. How can I be fucking empty? What am I meant to do now? Ah, shit. I need drill fuel. Ah, how can there be no drill fuel? Ha! Oh, now you're fucked. The elevator to the lifeboat is flooded, Father. Destroy those glass tubes to flood the room. <laughs> the rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. <laughs> and there we have it, Bioshock 2, finally rounded out the trilogy. It's better than I remember. I will say towards the beginning sections, like the opening is fine, but then there's an Siren Alley and a second level. There's two levels in a row which I really didn't care for, but the, the Stanley level in Dionysus Park was excellent. Uh, Gil, the mad fella in Fontaine Futuristics, was fantastic. That was my favorite level in the game, playing his little sister. There's a lot of goods in this game, and it's still, in Rapture, one of the best gaming worlds. I've now platinumed Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. Whew. Which is my favorite? The first Bioshock. The mystery, you know, visiting Rapture for the first time, uncovering all the people and what's went wrong, and of course, Andrew Ryan. Yeah, although final quarter of the game is kind of a slog when you become a big daddy and it's just blow and plodding and the final boss is just sort of bad. <laughs> but the first three quarters of the game is just magnificent. I will endlessly replay Bioshock. My second favourite then would be Bioshock Infinite. It's bright, it's colourful, it's a big Disneyland ride. Uh, and then Bioshock 2. But, you know, if I'm rating them, the first Bioshock is a 10, second Bioshock is an 8.5, and, and then Bioshock Infinite is a 9. So, yeah, they're all really good games. If Bioshock, if the new Bioshock that's in development is as good as Bioshock 2, I'm going to be over the moon. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.